JWST, along with the Hubble Space Telescope, has given us another gorgeous galactic image. This picture shows us a pair of galaxies looking like a pair of eyes staring back, and there are some real surprises in store as we dig deeper into this one. Here, we have a spectacular spiral galaxy on the right, which is slightly closer to us than the bright white elliptical galaxy on the left. This distance discrepancy means that these galaxies probably aren't directly interacting. However, the light we're receiving from the two of them is certainly tangled together. In this composite image, any green, yellow or red you can see comes from JWST data, while blue has been assigned to the visible and UV light from Hubble. This powerful combination has allowed researchers to trace light that was emitted by the huge elliptical galaxy, disentangling it from the spiral galaxy's interstellar dust that blocks some of the light and study the effects of that interstellar dust. If we first go deeper into the spiral galaxy, the first thing that we can appreciate is the beauty of the spiral structure here. Their structure is so tight and the spirals are so well defined. I think it's really gorgeous. We're seeing this galaxy in more detail than ever before, with Webb's near-infrared NERCAM detector allowing us to study the dust and structure with incredible resolution. This image is all the more impressive when we realise it only took half an hour of observing time to make it. However, the true surprises come when we turn our attention to the elliptical galaxy on the left. We can see that some of the dusty arms of the spiral galaxy seem to overlap with the bright elliptical, including its core, but using both Hubble and Webb lets us finally resolve the two separate galaxies, while seeing the effect that the dust has on the light coming from that elliptical galaxy. In short, as the light from the white elliptical passes through the dust of the closer spiral, that light tends to become redder. We can see that the light coming from near the dust lanes is redder than the surroundings, showing us that blue light is blocked more effectively than red light by that dust. In fact, the longer the wavelength, the less it's blocked. So infrared light is blocked even less than red light. This is why the dust tends to redden the light we're receiving. The pair of galaxies are collectively named VV191, and they were first studied using citizen science volunteers in an online project called Galaxy Zoo. I've actually talked about citizen science just like this in more detail in my video on a cool object called Hanny's Vorwerp, so head there if you're interested. Going deeper into the elliptical, we can see that there's some epic gravitational lensing going on. To the top left, there's a faint red arc. This is a super distant background galaxy, at least 10 billion light years away, being gravitationally lensed by our massive elliptical galaxy here. The mass of the elliptical galaxy is bending and warping the light we're receiving from that background galaxy. This means we end up seeing the shape of that galaxy being totally warped, which is why it looks so bizarre here. That's actually not all though. Not only is their gravitational lensing changing the shape of the galaxy, but it's actually producing a second image of that exact same galaxy too. Look to the bottom right of the elliptical. There's another warped dot. That is light coming from the same background galaxy, appearing again due to the distorted shape of space-time caused by the white galaxy here. These images of the background galaxy are so faint and so red that they aren't visible at all in the older, pure Hubble images of this pair. They're too faint, so Hubble's smaller mirror couldn't collect enough light to see them. But even if it could collect enough light, that probably wouldn't have revealed them anyway. The light coming from this galaxy is so red that it's actually out of the wavelength range that Hubble can see, but it is in the infrared wavelength range that Webb can observe. Finally, we have the usual JWST joy of seeing a plethora of beautiful background galaxies hanging out in the supposedly dark spaces behind VV191. I could spend hours looking through the background sky trying to choose the most beautiful thing here. But the announcement of this image points to these two spiral galaxies. They look about the same size on the sky, but they appear to be very different colours, telling us that one is either likely very dusty or very distant. They could be at the same distance, but dust in one of them is making it look redder. Or perhaps they're at different distances, in which case the red one could just be much brighter, but much more distant. To know the difference, we'll need more detailed spectroscopic data collected in the future to tell us which of these is right. That's all I've got on this one. Be sure to subscribe if you're new for loads more videos on web and all things astronomy. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.